In this presentation, we will implement 8 cross 1 multiplexer by using the 4 cross 1 marks. Now, if you remember, in the last presentation, I told you that this is a special, a special case in mux tree. So let's find out why we call it as a special case. The procedure will be the same that we followed in the last few presentations. That is, we first check for the required marks that is your 8 cross 1 marks and uh, we will try to find out the number of input data lines which is 8 let's say it is n1 now the available marks is 4 cross 1 so n2 the number of input data line in the available marks is equal to 4 the next step is to divide this 8 by this 4 so 8 divided by 4 gives you 2 we will take this 2 again and divide it by 4 which gives us 0 0.5 so one thing you can see here is that you have to use 2.5 marks so how you are going to use 2.5 marks it means that all of the input of the third 4 cross 1 multiplexer is not used so this is a problem we cannot use that method to implement in this case so what we can do we are going to use a completely different approach in this implementation that's why we call it as a special case and it is very important to understand this one so the first thing that comes in my mind is that using enable we can implement this thing because in the last presentation when we implemented 8 cross 1 by using 2 cross 1 we assume that the enable of all the 2 cross 1 multiplexer is high which means that the circuit or the multiplexer is always in the working mode but in this the enable is varying we will vary the enable to obtain 8 cross 1 max so let's see how we can do it the most important thing and the most helpful thing in the mux tree is this table this table gives you all the ideas to implement the higher order mux by using the lower order mux so let's use this table before that i will make two four cross one mux that we will use for the implementation and let's give four input to each of these mux this is i0 i1 i2 i3 similarly i4 i5 i6 and i7 this is four cross one four cross one and single output to each of these mux now what about the select line in 4 cross 1 multiplexer there are two select line but in 8 cross 1 multiplexer we are having three select lines so how you are going to have the third select line because you are having two select line it is implemented by using the enable let's say this is enable of this max e and this is enable of this max e now I will give a signal or an input S2 and this will be complemented and given to E, the E of this and it is given to the enable of this in uncomplemented form. Let's see what is the advantage of doing this. For the first four cases, S2 is 0. So let's consider the first four cases when s2 is equal to 0 by doing this this multiplexer will not work why because the enable is low and when enable is low the output is always equal to 0 but this multiplexer here it is 0 so it will be 1 enable is 1 so it is working and now the output depends upon the select line and I will say it is S0 and it is S1 so this will be S0 and this will be S1 so if it is 0 1 then I1 I1 here will be reflected and 
now out of i1 and 0 what do we want we want i1 so I'm going to use a OR gate here because using the AND gate will always result the output as 0 because every time out of these two marks this one or this one one marks is not going to work and output is 0 so if I use AND gate here the output is always 0 so I'm using the OR gate and the output Y is I1 or 0 which is equal to I1 let's check for the other case when S2 is not equal to 0 but it is equal to 1 so when it is equal to 1 this multiplexer is working okay but this multiplexer will be disabled so the output is 0 in this case and here the output depends upon the value of s1 and s0 let's say it is 1 1 when it is 1 1 the output here of this multiplexer is i7 so y is equal to 0 or i7 which is equal to i7 and uh, when we get i7 when s2 is equal to 0 s1 is equal to 1 and s sorry s2 is equal to 1 s1 is equal to 1 and s0 is equal to 1 which is the same case here and when we get i1 when s2 is equal to 0 s1 is equal to 0 and s0 is equal to 1 which is the same case here so in this way we will implement the 8 cross 1 marks using the 4 cross 1 marks which is definitely a special case and uh, once you know that how to use the enable you can also handle some other special cases so this is all for this presentation if you feel any doubt in this thing then you can definitely ask in the comment box so see you in the next presentation